Hi, in this video we will just be looking at the definition of differentiation. Yeah, differentiation is the gradient of a function of a yeah, gradient of any function, that's the derivative of the function. Differentiation is just how to find that gradient. Okay, suppose we have a straight line. Now to find the gradient of a straight line we just take the the change in y divided by the change in the x values or the rise over run and that gives us the steepness of the line. Okay. Well, let's say we want to find the gradient of this line. We can take any two points on the line, let's say those two points, find out what the what the what x values are and then the y values corresponding to it. So if this is x, the output value here would be f of x. Let's call it x1. So f of x1 and let's call this x2 and the output value there would be f of x2. Okay. So now we have we know that a straight line equation y equals mx plus c. We know that this m value here, that's our gradient. So we'll call it the gradient is equal to the change in your f of x divided by the change in your x. So that tells us that f of x minus the distance between these two, f of x min of f of x two minus f of x one would be a change in your x value, so we'll go f of x2 minus f of x1 we're divided by the change in x, which is x2 minus x1. So that's your gradient for this function, and that'll be true anywhere on this line. That gradient will hold. But now, what if we have some curve like this, something that isn't a straight line? How do we find the gradient of this? Because we see the gradient will change. Obviously, it's a lot steeper here than it is over here. Well, how will we do that? Well, we can we can approximate it by using the same method as this. So let's see. If let's say we want to find the gradient at this point here, we can approximate that by taking two points on either side of it and drawing a straight line through them. So if we take these two points and we draw a straight line through that, that will give us some gradient. Let's see what that would be. Let's call this value here for the first point. We call this x and then the corresponding output value f of x. Now we do the same for the other point except we call this x and by, by a convention we'll call this x plus h. So That just tells us we moved some distance h. Corresponding output value would be f of x plus h. Okay, so now we can find the gradient of this line running through those two points by just saying that m equals the change in f of x divided by the change in x again. That'll give us f of x plus h minus f of x minus f of x divided by the change in the x value, so x plus h minus x. Now we see x minus x, that cancels out, that's equal to zero. So all we're left with is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. But that only gives us the gradient of this straight line here. If we take these two points closer, let's say we take those two points there, and we draw a straight line through them. That'll give us a better approximation of the gradient at that point. But we need to get even closer than that to get the right answer. So we get closer and closer and closer until eventually we're zero distance apart. So these two values must be zero distance apart. That tells us we want to find this gradient. So eventually, once we get to zero distance apart, we'll have the gradient of a tangent to this curve. They only barely touch it at that point. How do we do that? We just make this h, the distance between them, smaller and smaller. So the definition of a derivative, which is the gradient, is just that f prime of x, which is our notation for a derivative, is equal to the limit as h approaches zero, as that becomes very, very small, of what we wrote here, f of x plus h, minus f of x 
divided by h. And this is the definition of a derivative. That's called the first principles of differentiation.